Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from OutbackTravelAustralia.com.au. I'm a great fan of tyre pressure monitoring. I think everybody should have it on every vehicle. We've been testing the Doran system for the past four years, provided by LSM Technologies, and we wouldn't go anywhere without it. The system uses four, six or eight of these transmitters, depending on whether you're a solo vehicle pulling a single axle camper trailer or a two axle caravan. Installation is simple. Off with the valve cap and on with the transmitter. The display unit plugs into a cigarette lighter plug or you can hardwire it, put it anywhere in the vehicle where it's easy to see and then it's simply a matter of programming each wheel transmitter to the display. After the vehicle's been rolling for a while, the transmitter displays will appear and you can monitor pressure as you drive along. It's easy to set upper and lower pressure limits and an alarm will sound if there's too little pressure or too much. Another great feature is that any leak in a tyre, a slow leak or a fast leak, will trigger the alarm. So instead of driving on and damaging a deflating tyre, you can get out and repair it or replace it immediately. This is a pretty common sight on Australian outback roads. A ring of tyre tread just sitting on the edge of the road. And most people wonder how this could happen. The whole sidewall of the tyre is missing, so that's normally believed to be the problem. But in most cases, the tyre has suffered a small through tread puncture, which is too small to be noticed as you're driving on rough dirt roads. The tyre gradually deflates and as it does it flexes and gets hotter and hotter until eventually it blows out and the whole sidewall unzips. Here's a very small through tread puncture in a tyre. You can just see a faint mark where a sharp stone is stabbed into the casing. You can't hear any sound from it, but soap bubbles show there is a leak. This tire will gradually deflate and flex and finish up as a blowout. But our door and tire pressure system warned us of this slow leak and we could replace it straight away. We all know that tyre pressures should increase slightly as the tyre gets hot when it's rolling along. The ideal pressure rise is around 4 psi in the old money between a cold tyre and a warm tyre. So using the tyre pressure readout it's possible to vary your starting pressure so that you get this ideal pressure increase. If you don't get much increase, your starting pressure was too high and if you get too much pressure increase, your starting pressure was too low. So you can very quickly learn what the ideal pressures are for your vehicle's load and speed conditions. These test transmitters have done 200,000 bush kilometres in the last four years people are surprised to see how little damage they've suffered despite the fact that you can see where the valve stem has been hitting the rim. We've pushed them through scrub, we've driven them over corrugated roads and nothing causes any damage. We've tried them with steel stems and with normal rubber stems and it doesn't make any difference. They're bulletproof. 
I endorse very, very few products, but the Doran Tire Pressure Monitoring System is certainly one I'm proud to endorse.